Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie. I'm a stay at home mom of four. I also run the budget shop Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy or also on my website, purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash stuffing method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you'd like to follow along with, just keep watching. cash stuffing some money that I earned this weekend off of selling some things on Facebook Marketplace. Um, my husband and I decided to purchase a sectional for our upstairs living room area. Currently we have a sofa and love seat up there but we just decided that a, a sectional would make more sense for us as far as like seating wise and maximizing space. We are a family of six so with the sofa and love seat that's about five spots to sit in. Um, I mean the kids could squish in but with the sectional we should easily be able to fit all six of us and plus it's a lot more speeding, seating and smaller amount of space and it just kind of makes more sense up there. So we decided to go ahead and sell our love seat and our sofa. So we sold that. And then also I had my old KitchenAid mixer um, up for sale on Marketplace for quite a while. I put it up there as soon as I bought my um, new, or not bought, as soon as I got my new stand mixer. Um, for Mother's Day, I got a blue um, stand mixer. We recently renovated our kitchen, so our kitchen has this gorgeous blue backsplash on it. And so I wanted to have a stand mixer and I wanted to have it out and I wanted it to flow with the look of look and aesthetic of the kitchen. So my purple stand mixer had to go. It was really sad. I love purple. That's kind of why I had it. But honestly, the purple it was is not my favorite shade of purple. It just was the purple that was available when I purchased it. So um I finally found someone that was willing to pay my asking price for my stand mixer, so I got that sold. So between the two, I made $500 this weekend um, from Facebook Marketplace. I sold the stand mixer for $150, and then we sold the sofa and love seat for $350. They were quite old. I want to say that they're like 10 to 12 years old, so that's kind of why we listed as low as we did. But they are very nice. Um pieces of furniture. They're lazy boy and they're still really, really comfortable. So I was kind of sad to see them go. I mean, if it was a sectional, it would have worked great, but, um, I think our new sectional will work us work out better for us. So let's go ahead and count this cash to make sure that it's all here. And then we can have fun, some fun with this today. So, um, the good thing is that luckily I was off on my days when it came to selling the sectional. I decided to put it up. I'm like, this will, or not the sectional, the sofa and love seat, because I thought that our sectional was being delivered next Thursday, so I was like really bummed out because we have, um, uh, what do you want to say? We have like lawn chairs up there to sit on right now, so not the most comfortable. So I thought we were going to have to sit on them until next Thursday, but our new sectional is being delivered this Thursday. I was thinking I was off by a week, so that was exciting. My husband's like, um, no, the sectional is being delivered this Thursday, not next Thursday. I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. So that's really exciting. I was glad to like be wrong for once. So let's go ahead and count this and make sure that there's 500 here. So sorry for this awkward cut. I was counting weird, so I want to recount this. So let me also get my fingertip moistener one second. I'm going to be handling a lot of bills, so I want to be able to thumb through it pretty well. So let me use this. And then I'm going to count them by hundreds just to not confuse myself. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, so that's 400, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Those ones are super crispy, so I'm really glad that I had the fingertip moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the cash in the correct denominations, and I'm gonna have to be super careful when I'm using the ones 
um, that is like a ton of ones so I just wanted to make sure that I had the right denominations to be able to have as much fun so I got a ton of ones um, but we're gonna use some of this other stuff so the first order of business with this cash is I'm gonna go ahead and pay back my ding 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 envelope I borrowed um, $11 from it when I filmed my giveaway announcement video if you haven't checked that video out definitely check it out um, it's where I announced the giveaway all the rules how to enter and everything like that and it is still going on as of the day that I'm posting this um, it's gonna be going on for two weeks from this last Sunday um, so definitely check it out I had a lot of fun filming it basically in that video I took my Christmas money and I transitioned it over to my Christmas savings challenge binder and in it um, I used a lot of the completed savings challenges from my two dollar Tuesdays binder and then some other savings challenges from this binder and then I was I think eleven dollars short from being able to fill one more pocket so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna steal it from here so I got that paid back um so that's really good um also if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel I'm just gonna go ahead and put a plug in here I'd greatly appreciate it if you did subscribe to my channel um, I'm on a quest to reach a thousand subscribers subscribing is free so everyone who chooses to subscribe to my channel helps me achieve that goal um, also, if you have time to drop me a comment below, I always love reading your comments, getting to know you guys and kind of feeling like I have friends chatting with me. Um, being a stay at home mom can be a little bit socially isolating. So I am loving the sense of community that I'm building here on the channel. So I'm super excited. And that's another reason why I wanted to go ahead and do that giveaway that I was just talking about. Cause once I hit 500 subscribers, I wanted to give back to you guys that help make the channel kind of be what it's at. So also, if you want to throw me a like or a thumbs up, I appreciate that too. So let's go ahead and get into this. And I just noticed that my nail um, powder like broke off. So I'm going to have to fix that. So um, for now, it's going to be in this video and it might be in my weekly stuffing video. I don't know. Somewhere I broke it. We're doing a lot of construction over this house. So I'm like breaking nails left and right. My nails don't play nice with polish or anything. So it's kind of hard to keep them covered. But I like to because these two nails lift really bad as far as like the nails lifting from the finger. Anyways, TMI, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and get into this. So I paid back this, we're good there. And then let's go have fun with some of these. Now, I mentioned in my last Etsy stuffing video, which I wasn't able to play any games. I was looking forward to playing um, Luck of the Draw because I've been watching some videos that people are tagging me in that they're playing my Luck of the Draw and it just like seems so much fun. And I haven't played this in forever, one, because Literally the first card I ever drew was one of the Jokers. Um, where is it? Cause I know, yeah, see that Joker right there. That was like the first card I ever drew. So like that scared me because I didn't have enough money to cover it. I think I had to like borrow money from my son's um, allowance envelope. So it scared me. So it took a while to get back to it. And I lost where I put my cards. So it was always hard to kind of find them, but obviously I found them. So we're gonna have fun playing. So I have two boxes that I just had sitting around that I hold these in. So this is my discard pile. And then these are the cards that I still have. So let's go ahead and play. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle and we will get to saving. And then after this, I'm gonna take a pause from games after I'm done playing this one because I remember I want to kind of get ahead on my jigsaw challenge a little bit. So let's see, three. Okay, well that's really not a lot. So I'm definitely drawing more than one card for sure. Let's just do all of these. So 10 Jack and King. Man, I really was very ambitious there. So the King is 25. The Jack is 15. And then the 10 should just be face value. Yeah, the 10 is face value. So we have 500 to play with. I'm gonna do one more card to make it an even five. Five, perfect. So now what I need to do, because I'm really bad about doing this, is actually um, coloring what I have. So we have, I'm going to put this back in here because I'm done with this one for now, at least. So the five of hearts colored. Let's put it here and then the Ten of Clubs. I cannot color very well. And then the Jack of Clubs. I have some like fine motor issues. I have a learning disability dysgraphia, so 
that's when my coloring is really sloppy. I'm not trying to be like lazy or bad. It just, it's really difficult um, to kind of color in the lines because of my fine motor issues. It's like the weirdest thing. And then three. I take my time I can get better but it's still still a struggle so this is everything from this savings so let's move the ones there and then take the tens back here so just in those five cards I've added 20 30 40 5 55 6 7 8 so 58 dollars in this one and then so 59 so I have 259 started for this and so we're around a third of the way through which is nice so I need to start giving this one some love so we can get this challenge completed. So if I end up with gobs of money still left at the end we might come back to it. Oh, let me stop for a second. So I have my jigsaw challenge and then I'm going to grab my September tracker. So, I'm filming this on the 9th. Let me look at a calendar. I'm going to need my calculator. Hold on, let me get the cards out of the way. So, I'm filming this on the 9th. It's going to go live on the 12th, most likely. So, we're going to go 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 12 minus 4, 8 times nine, 72. So we're gonna put $72 towards this. 20, 40, 60, 70, and then one, two, 30, 40, 60, 70, and then one, two. This is a very struggle for me as I get deeper into the year. So I'm just gonna take whatever extra leeway I have. And when I have like extra money or it's easy, I'm just gonna contribute to this. So we have four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to go ahead and color all these in. There we go. I'm finding as I get to the, to the later months, it's going to be a little bit more of a struggle. My original goal is I wanted to keep stuffing this within my Etsy earnings money, but I haven't been able to get my sales exactly where I want them to be on Etsy. Um, so I've been having slow times and it's just being a struggle to keep this in my Etsy earnings video. So I'm just gonna have to kind of fill it in with how I can, because I do, I do wanna get this done, because it would be really awesome and exciting to like actually work and finish this um, challenge. So um, I should have 108 here, let's make sure it's here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, perfect. So I have the right amount here, and let's put it back into this envelope. Perfect. And let's go ahead and move on to something else. I want to play Yahtzee. That's Uno. Where is my Yahtzee? There it is. I'm like, I can't find Yahtzee. Here we go. So I want to finish this game. So we're going to finish Yahtzee. So here are all my little game pieces. So I need these four dice. And then we're going to do Yahtzee. We're just gonna finish up game number two. Okay, so let me turn it so you guys can see. There, you guys can see it better. So I have one and two twos, a three and a six. Let's see what, so I need a four of a kind, which I don't really see much of anything there going for a four of a kind. Um, I do need my twos. I guess I'm gonna go for my twos because that could potentially get me the four of a kind or it could give me Yahtzee. So we're gonna go with that. Nothing. I'm just gonna keep going. 
because I've already gotten my stripes. Got another two, got a four, and got a four. So I have a full house, which I've already done. So full houses seem to be pretty easy for me. So we are gonna go with the twos. So I need to put six. And then we will put that here. And then let's go again. Okay, so we're gonna go with sixes. And we're gonna try for four kind. Did I already do my chance? No, I have not. So hold well on. This was a six. I think this was a six. I had two sixes. I think I had two sixes. We're gonna say I had two sixes, and if I lied, I'm sorry. Oh, that's out of there, so it's not gonna count. How I got a six. I got a five and a four. Okay, so six times three, hold on. So six times three plus, plus five plus four, it's 27, so that's not bad. So we will use that as our chance. 27, so one, two, five, and then 20, and then let's keep playing. Obviously, if I run out of money, I'm not going to be able to finish the game, but I want to try to get as far as I can. I don't think I'm going to run out of money. Because I have quite a bit. I've already done my chances. I've done my sixes. But that's, like, the only thing. So, I guess let's try for fives. So, I'm going to take the five out. That's where I went wrong as I left it in there. Okay, let's roll them all again. Okay, so we will go with, I guess we'll go with four. So I need fours. So let me actually just take this and look for five. Let's try again. Okay, let's go with fives because we can do either our fives or a four of a kind there. So we have three fives, so maybe we'll roll one more. I don't know if this, I hope this is a full three. If not, I cheated. But it wouldn't matter anyways because I'm going to go with the fives. So all I had was 15. So now on this roll, we will, or this time, I'm gonna try for whatever I have the most on. I'm just gonna go for it and try to get four of a kind. Okay, I just got a full house. I told you I'm like really good at getting these full houses. That seems to be like my easiest one to get. Nothing there, let's see if we can get one. Oh, I got a one. Come on, one. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. So that is four of a kind. Awesome. So, I mean, it's like the suckiest four of a kind almost ever, but so four, eight. At least I like included it. So let me go ahead and save the money. So one, two, three. Make sure that all of these are just single ones. They are. And then let's go ahead and add this up and then double check because I've cleared um, the last one and then we will take this money and I'll put it into my um, secret stash envelope and start this over for challenges I've completed. So three plus six plus nine. 24. Sixty-one. Well, I did better than the last round, so that's exciting. I didn't do very good. I would love to get it where I get the bonus, but I do not have to put the bonus in. So let's see what we have here. 
so we should have 266. Let's see if I have this right. Okay, so I have 200 in placeholder money, and then I have 20, 35, 45, 55, hold on, 20, 35, 40, 5, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I do have the 266, so I'm going to go ahead and put this <clears throat> in my secret stash envelope. This is where I put my completed challenges, and we're just going to go ahead and start this over. So that's exciting. I'm excited to start this over again. So that's this will be round three of me trying. Let's see what else. What else needs some love? If you can tell, I do have some of my favorites. Word search is done. Let's do Rubik's Cube because this is like my absolute favorite. So I'll just grab colors as I need them. So Green is done and I have an extra, I think. So I need orange. Is that orange or is that red? I don't know. I'm gonna think, I think for my own purposes, I'm gonna switch myself to a salt tracker after this one because this scrambled one's a little difficult with some of the colors I chose. So green, I'm done with greens, but I'm still gonna save it. I'm going to save it as a bonus and I'm just going to put a mark up here. That's kind of how I'm letting myself know that I did more. So five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Let's see. I need a purple. Red. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is my last, no. So I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is my second to last of red. And then red is two. Let's keep going. Another green. So we'll put another dot up there and let's do one more roll and then we'll just call it good. orange. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two oranges. So the color in one of the ones that's a struggle for me to tell. So I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So where's my last red? Okay, so this one I know for sure is an orange, so we'll just do this one. Yes, I'm definitely going to my solved version because I the colors are challenging me. I didn't realize how similar the orange and the red were going to look to each other on like the really small squares. So there we go there. Um, one more roll and then we're going to call it good. And of course it's an orange. So this definitely looks like an orange here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. So we're going to call it good because right now my head is hurting on these. So it's time for me to stop on this one even though I like absolutely love this game I'm like it's confusing me my brain is dying so let's move on 5 10 15 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 so 30 saved here we'll count it all up at a later date I might actually switch this tracker over to my solved one and just start on that one because I'm like that scrambled it's just not it's driving me crazy <laughs> um I need a clear off domino so I can restart it roll the dice is done I guess let's do some uno 
hasn't gotten a lot of love. I kind of started over. I don't really use the tracker for this. I just kind of draw cards and go from there and then just save whatever. So I don't really have a savings goal on this. So here are my Uno cards. I just kind of use the, the tracker just kind of as a idea of what I have in the cards. So I love these cards. They're so cute and tiny. My kids always wants to steal my Uno cards that I have like sitting up for orders and stuff and I'm like nope you can't have them. So I might end up being nice and letting them have their own decks because I have a bunch of them. I just got a new box of them so that way I wasn't out because I was like down to having like three in stock and I'm like I need more than that because you guys love these so I ordered a box of 45 so I'm stocked up because I need them for when you guys buy the Uno listing but then also when you buy my um, savings challenge binder um, that includes Uno as well so this is different in Uno that you deal yourself five so I'm gonna deal myself five the way I play it is I play myself a hand and a discard and then I save based upon what I'm able to play. So I could play the one, but I wanna save a lot more money. So I'm gonna do this two, the three, and then the six. So that is nine, 11. So I'm gonna do another three to give myself um, back to five and then keep playing. So I'm gonna do this is a wild draw two. I don't know why I did it as a two. So I'll give myself two dollars there and I'm gonna call yellow. And then I give myself a dollar there, do this, give myself two, and then green, one, and then nine. One, two, three, four, and then five is nine. Actually, I'm just going to take a single back and I'm going to put a 10. So, let's go. I'm going to do one more hand and we'll see how much we can get. It's not looking very promising. I can't play anything, so we're going to call it an A. So, and then I just kind of keep reusing it. I mean, I could just discard them, but I just find it easier to play this way, just kind of as it is. And then when I want to just cut the savings challenge part off, I just take whatever's in the envelope and then I reallocate it to other savings. So it's just kind of like a constant game that I'm playing. So we saved 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So $27. Not bad for a couple of hands of Uno. And then let's go ahead and give some of my games um, boards a whirl. Let's do Savings Land. It has a little bit of savings in it. I stole my um, keys, so for something else I ran out, so I went ahead and gave someone my key because it, it was fine. I just kind of used it off to the side and then I took one of my unlimited ones because that's all I had at the time. So this is where I left off. Let me grab my little gummy bear. And then I actually want to switch this. I want to get one of my new purple ones that I have. So I'm going to switch it to this one because it's nice and purple and cute. So we will put it where I left off. I swear they stand up, but this isn't very flat. So we're going to push it up and I'm moving that. Let's move this. There we go. So on a flat surface. There we go. See, it stands up. You can barely see him, but he's there. Let's use the purple dice, because you use one dice on this game. And four. One, two, three, four. Now let's grab our key. And I'm just going to put it there. That's fine. See what I have. So I'm on the candy cane, so move back two spaces, so I'm going to save a dollar. Let's go ahead and roll a few more times. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So save two. I'm gonna do, I think, five rolls and then we'll call it quits on this one. So one, two, three, so save the five. So that was roll three, this is roll four. 
one, two, three, four. Save a dollar. And then last roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move a skip ahead. Four. One, two, three, four. So that is four dollars. So I'm gonna take this dollar back and then we'll save five. So on five rolls, we saved five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Not bad. So let me. Sometimes just rubbing really hard will get that off. And when that doesn't work, just use alcohol and a cotton pad. So I ended here, so we're gonna draw a dot here so I can start there next time. And then let's move on. Let's go to Save Up Boy after this. Which I think is So we're going to play Saveopoly, and on this guy you use two and you just play it like normal Monopoly. So we're going to do the pink and the purple, and then this is the game piece that this comes with. And I don't think I've marked anything on this one, so we're just going to start at Go. So start this little guy at Go, and let's see what we do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna try and do five rolls this time. And then one, one, two, three, another four. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One time the roll of the dice. So I rolled seven. So I need to save seven. And then let's go again. I think that was three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I will give myself five. Actually, the way I play Monopoly is if you land on there, you get two. So I'm going to save ten. I don't know if that's really how you're supposed to play, but that's how I always remember playing as a kid. So, and then we're just gonna do this as the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, so three. One, two, three. And then let's count this up. Let me just make sure that there's no more fives mixed in here. And there aren't, so I have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 28 for saving Saveopoly. And then I'm not gonna mark it because I'm just gonna start over at go each time, um, especially since I did like five bowls. So I got around the board at least once, so I won't mark it. Again, what I love about these challenges and kind of why I don't write official rules for each of them is because I want you to have the ability to like tweak it to how it fits in within your budget because not everyone has the same budget. So I don't want to have it be like so rigid that you have to play it this specific way and it be out of your budget. So I like to give you the option to kind of figure out how you want to play it. Now, if you need advice or like tips on how to play it, definitely reach out to me on Etsy and I'm more than happy to kind of explain through how I play it or I can point you to a video in which I've played that game where you can kind of see it visually and how I'm playing it. So um, there's that. So let's see how much we have left. Oh, we have a ton of money left. It still looks like, cause this has a lot of tens. Let's see, what do we want to play? Um, Let's do some Battleship. Actually, I want to finish up Rock, Paper, Scissors, and then if I have money left, we will do Battleship. So um, the way I've been doing Rock, Paper, Scissors is when I've been playing it, I've had a decent chunk of money. So I'll just play it all the way down the row. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. So let me grab my dice. Now, the dice I'm using is one of like my dice that I've tried. So it's all purple. Um, so it's not the same dice as what you would get if you purchased this. Um, if you purchased this, then you would get um, they're multicolor, so um, you can kind of see more in the listing. This is just kind of different because I was trying to decide between vinyl or stickers and I landed on stickers for the actual listing, um, but I had already made this one, so I just keep this one for myself. So we're trying to beat rock, so let's see, can we beat rock? Nope, we lost. 
So that's one. We beat papers, so that's five. And then we tied, so the way I play is I re-roll ties. And we lost. So put the single, and then we beat. And we tied, so I'm gonna re-roll. And we lost. And we tied, so I'm gonna re-roll. And we won. So a five. And we won, so another five. So I'm actually gonna swap this for a 10. Three more. And we lost. And then we tied, so re-roll tied again, re-rolled, and we won. And then let's go. And we lost. Well that ate through all the rest of the fives that we had. I'm going to swap some though for ten so that way we can have them for other ones if we need them. So let's just divide up all of these. So I'm going to swap two fives for another ten and then we'll count this. So 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So let's see what all we got. So 30, 80, and then two. So let me make sure that I did not mess anything up. So. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 5. And then 17. Yep, perfect. So this is right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this in here. And then I'm going to grab an empty... Uh, a6 tracker. Okay, so I was not able to find an A6 tracker in there, so I am just going to write on this that this is rock, paper, scissors. And I'm going to use one of my paper clips and then paper clip it together. And then I'm going to do the same with the Yahtzee money that I put here because I don't have an A6 Yahtzee made right now either. So I will make one eventually and then we'll write Yahtzee. And paper clip this and then put it in the secret stash. So we'll put these two games in the secret stash and we're good. Um, let me write the amount. So this was 266 and this was 82. That way, if something gets mixed up or messed up, I know. Perfect. Okay, back to having fun. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So 160, 70, 171 still left. So let's see what we want to do. So I'm going to do Battleship. So let me go back to this and we're are gonna try and sink a ship. So let me tuck this cash back in here. I think I just have 40 so far. And then I have to find my battleship cards. Here they are. So these are the ones. I guess these are the ones that I've drawn. Have I really drawn that many? That's crazy to think that I've drawn that many, but I guess I have. So I am not looking. So J6, J6, 
crochet six. Let me do the thinner one. So J6 is a miss, and when we miss, there is one. This is gonna get interesting because I don't have any more ones. So I'm just gonna draw a handful and we should be able to do them. So let's cross our fingers. Man, I'm feeling really, really uh, lucky that I have enough here. So we will see. So J8 is a miss, so that's one. A8 is a miss, that's another. So I'm just gonna put the misses over here. B3 is another miss. And then B8 is another miss. A6 is a miss. B1 is a miss. B6 is going to be a miss. Basically, A's and B's are misses. B7 is a miss. A9 is a miss. C6 is a hit. So that's going to be two. So let's just put this over here. C7 is a miss. C8 is another miss. D8 is another miss. And then G5 is a miss. So let's go ahead and count these up and see where we're at. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 15. Perfect. So there we go. Let's grab another handful and see how we do. I want to sink a ship, so I think I might keep going until I sink a ship or run out of money, whichever one happens first. So let's take another chunk. So E5 is a miss. E10 is another miss. H10 is another miss. H9, I have a feeling these are gonna be H's. Eight, J4 is a miss. B2, it says I've already done this one. So this would have been one of the first ones that I did. So what did I do wrong? I think it was A2, so that's what it was. Cause see, I kind of put them in order of when I put them in here. So one of the first ones I did. So here is this one. See A2 and A2 is still on the board. So I think that's where I messed up. So I will do this for the B2. So I think those are so, yeah. D6 is a miss. And then D5 is another miss. So these are all misses. D4, another miss. E2, miss. A7, miss. So let's see how much we got here. So these are all misses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. We'll just keep these over here to know that I haven't cashed those out. So we're still on a quest to sink a battleship, so let's keep going. Here's another chunk. J3. Miss. F10 is a miss. We're close to sinking a battleship. F9, we sunk a battleship. So that's a hit. I said I was gonna keep playing until I sunk one and I did. So we sunk the submarine, which means that's 15. So this is just for the ship. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So 
so put the five here. So I owe myself a dollar, so I'm gonna keep one of these misses, and then I'm gonna play until I hit another five. So B5 is a miss. So now I'm up to $2. Sorry about that, my ear was kicking on, so I had to um, increase my thermostat, and um, it took some time for the air to kick off. So I just, I don't want the air to going on because it's hard to hear then. So E4 is a miss, so we're at $4, and then D10 is a miss. So hopefully we get another miss, because otherwise I give up. Please be a miss, yes, A4, it's a miss. So this is five. So we can give our five and then we're done. So all of these cards are what we played today. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze them into my little boxy thing. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have to get myself another little boxy. Here's another clear box I found. So let me open it. And then these I think are the rest. So we have two boxes going so gotten through quite a bit of the board hopefully these fit in here they should I just like to kind of keep my discard separate from what I'm still playing with so we're gonna take a break from this one and let's see how much we saved with those stacks of cash or stacks of cards so 10 20 30 45 51 so let's go ahead and swap this for this so 51 and then I think I have 40. So so that would be 91 saved and when it's all said and done you save 252 so it starts out as a slow burn because you really got to start hitting the ships so it starts out slow but once you start hitting the ships a few times that one picks up a bit so when I start playing it more in the future it's going to get more costly. So Trying to think of what else I want to do. Give me a second. Okay, let me get my other set of tiles and then we'll play some Scrabble. So, just so I know what we have to work with, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. So, 120 to work with. So, let's see here. I'm gonna grab the board. And let's draw some tiles so how to play pick seven tiles make the longest word you can add up the points including bonus tiles and then you can keep continuing until you get seven so let's see what we got so I'm not looking so one two three four five six and then seven so let's see what we have to work with I'm just going to put them down here. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have to work with? I, my brain keeps trying to hunt, but that's like a full word and I don't have anywhere to put it off of. So, there's really not, I don't really see anything that I can play. So, if there's something that I'm overlooking here that you guys see that I could play, then let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm just going to save five. And I guess I'll call it a day. I might want to just completely restart this over because I don't really have a lot to work with. I was not really strategically thinking the best. I guess let's try again. Let me kind of mix them up a little bit more, as much as I can. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one more.
mean, I see lad. Lad in law. I think I'm gonna do lad because then I can do leg and get two words. So we're gonna do this one first. So L A D is lad. So that is one, two. Give me a second, I gotta steal a new board. I have a new board design um, I, that I need to reprint myself off because basically I have the letter distribution and then I have the amount. So that way you don't have to like dig through ones that you've already done. So D equals two, so that's one, two, four. And then it was a double letter score. So that is another two, so that would be six. So I'm gonna make a mental note that I owe six. So yeah, I'm gonna make a mental note for now. I should have planned this out better, but I didn't. So six. And then we can do leg, which is a double word score. So L E G. So it's one, two, four. So that's eight. So eight is 14. Okay, and then I think that's all I can do. So we're gonna call it a, good, a day there and I'm gonna put these in my discard. And then I gotta figure out how to do 14. So I see I have a single in Scrabble. So I will pay back, ow, that hurt. I don't know what just happened. I felt like I was rubbing my nail off. Luckily I did not, because that's how they pop off all the time. So I will put these back in here and then we will take a single out of Scrabble. So I saved 20 this session. I mean, that's kind of disappointing, but I don't didn't really set myself up very well for this. So add that in here and then we'll count that all up another day. And let's keep going and figuring out where else we want to play. I don't really feel like doing Scrabble because I don't like how that board's set up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to print myself a new board and I'm going to start completely over. So I'll bring that back if I need it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So we didn't even hardly touch much, much of that. Let's go back to luck of the draw because I just, I want to, get some good progress on this. So we're gonna play it some more. So let me get my cards out. Let me clean up some of this mess because I don't need all of this. I don't even know that I'm gonna need the dice tower right now, but we'll keep it. I like to store it with the purple dice for my month the head binder challenges and then my $2 Tuesdays. So I leave the purple in there, put this to the side, and I realized I need to add to this because I completed two challenges. So let's see, do I have, I'm trying to think, where did I put a bunch of singles? No, it wasn't either one of those. Was it, Savings Lane doesn't have a lot either. Was it Saveopoly? Let's see if I can break a 10 or swap out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have some singles. So put those there, grab a ten, and now we're back. We're back in business. So let's go to Luck of the Draw. And before I do that, I finished Saveopoly and I finished um, Yahtzee. So ding, ding. And I will put two dollars into my ding, ding, ding challenge. So I think we should have 19. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. $19 on this, which is good. And put this to the side. And then let's get drawing some cards. Since I did shuffle it this last time, I am not gonna shuffle again. We're just going to pick a card. And it's a four, so. 
we're going to put 5 and 1 back and take a 10. And then 6. There we go. So, let's see. Eh. So, that would be 10. So, this is the savings. I like to kind of keep my sessions of savings. I mean, granted, I did one earlier, but it's fine. And then five, there we go. And then, hold on, put this back. And then, there we go. Okay, I'm like overcomplicating this, so if I mess up, I won't be surprised. Um, we will take this. I'm just gonna recount it towards the end, we're good. And then, Ace. Now this is where I need this. An ace is worth 30. One, two, three. Now I'm starting to get nervous, so not gonna get so antsy. Another 30. So okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see. We're gonna see. Hopefully it's fine. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. one, two, three, and then I'm calling it good. So I'm going to color in these cards and then we're gonna count everything up and see how we did. Or we can kind of calculate it this way. So, so we got three plus four. So three and four clubs. And then an ace plus 30 plus 30. So the ace of diamonds and hearts. And then where's the hearts? There it is. Plus nine of hearts. Plus five of clubs. Plus six of clubs. Plus six. Plus four. And then the four of hearts, 91. So if I added that all up, right, in this last session, we just saved 91, which would mean that there would be... Okay, so we had, I think, 101. And then I... Did, okay, so 101 minus two for the ding, ding, ding challenge... And then minus 91 is eight. So we're balanced there. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that I didn't mess anything up because I've been really crazy here. So I just saved $91 here. Um, so that's exciting. So let me go ahead and put this in my discard. And then, so I don't continue to complicate and confuse myself, I am just going to cheat and put these in my $1 and my $5 savings from my black binder. But for now, let's organize and count this again. So five and then ones, a bunch of ones, tens, 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 and a five. This will also make it easier on me when I go to try to consolidate, which I can foresee one of those happening because these are all messes and then it's just time. So 100, 200 in the bank, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So 350 dollars. So we are getting there. This is super exciting. I mean, that's almost. I mean, I think it, it might be more than halfway there. So that's exciting. So I went from not doing very much on this and then just kind of giving this one a lot of love and getting really far with it. So that's really exciting. So that's all for my game binder. This is a really, really long video. So I'm going to have to see if I'm going to need to split it up or keep it all in one. I'm hoping to keep it all in one. So if you guys like long videos, then this is definitely the video for you. 
I'm just confusing myself, so I need the pink color. I think this is the right pink. My daughter is obsessed with pink and keeps stealing my pink Sharpies, so if it's not, it's fine. So I have three singles. So one, two, three. So we're almost done with this challenge for the second time. Okay, so we should have 47 here. So let me count this just to double check and also give this time to dry so it doesn't do what it just did, which is smudge. So 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, perfect. So 47 here. And then 5, we have a 1, 5. So let's color in 1. And this is totally the wrong pink, but we're just going to roll with it because I'm going to... I know this is the wrong pink too, but that pink's a little bit too white for me. Okay, I thought this was the wrong pink, but maybe it's not. So let's count and see how much we have. With this one, we have 20, 40, 60, 75. So that's good. When this one is all done and completed, we'll have 250. I'm just kind of doing it as I go and calling it good there. So that is everything. And now I am out of cash. So. We completed two challenges and got to contribute $2 to the Ding 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 Challenge. We paid back the 11 that we borrowed from here, so that was exciting. And then I went ahead and um, played games for the rest of it. So it was a pretty productive day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know that my savings games are very, very popular on Etsy, so I would hope that this is pretty popular as well. So I will catch you guys in my next video, guys. Bye, guys.